In this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to create an epic, realistic Spider-Man animation all in Blender. You're going to learn how we can find and use completely free assets and models from the internet to set up some awesome shots in a night city. Stick around to the end of the video to see my epic final animation. Okay, so I have this epic idea for an animation. I want to see Spider-Man on a high rooftop overlooking the night city. But I don't want to spend hours modeling Spider-Man in an entire night city. So how do we do this? The answer, my friend, is the internet. Well, let's start with Spider-Man himself. If we go to Sketchfab, we're going to find literally dozens of free downloadable Spider-Man models. Pick anyone you like. I've linked the one I used in the description. Once we make sure the model is T-posing, we can then export the mesh to a separate FBX. Make sure to check embed textures while exporting to pack all the materials. Now we're going to Mixamo.com to upload our export. We can automatically rig our Spider-Man with its easy upload process and then BAM! You can now search for thousands of motion capture animations all ready to download and import. Nice tip is to search for standard terms like run, jump, and they even have a whole section dedicated to superheroes. Before you import, make sure you download the Mixamo add-on developed for Blender. Okay, once we bring out a Mixamo animation, we can use the add-on to create a dedicated control rig that's better. Also, we might need to mess around with Spidey's textures to make it look right. Here's a quick tip, if you ever want to grab another Mixamo animation, you can just download the FBX without the skin. This means it's just the armature. Then you bring that in and check this out. With the old animation, you can zero out the rig, select a new armature as the source, then apply the animation and boom, easy animation switches. Okay, now we need an entire environment and remember, we're going to keep this super fast and free. Let's start by making a rooftop for our Spidey. I'll model a basic rooftop and slap on some concrete textures. Then I'll search the internet for any free assets and things like pipes, ACs, electricals, antennas. Finding these assets is another skill of itself, but notable free assets I found was this set from Sketchfab and Video Copilot's rooftop collection from years back. Now we can kitbash a little rooftop scene placing everything together. Okay, but we still need an entire night city. There's an entire set of YouTube videos dedicated to this. To sum it up, you can model the basic cubes, make it glossy, and slap an image texture of building lights, and use the bright parts to drive the mission. But there's even a faster and easier way. If you do the right searching, you can actually find photo scans of entire cities at day and night. These people capture really cool and usable stuff with drones, so huge thanks to them for making our jobs easier. Once we bring those cities all in, we can repeat the kit bashing process by placing, duplicating, and rotating the scans to create one unique city. Okay, now we want to turn every city scan really dark so only the lights stand out. We'll create an emission shader. Now we'll mix this with the diffuse BSDF using a mixed shader. Now here's the trick. Just use the original image colors through a color ramp to drive the mix factor. Now you can ramp up the contrast until only the building highlights are driving the mission and there you go, night city. To make things look better, we can find some individual skyscraper models for the ones near Spidey. You can also just connect a glossy and brick displacement to a cube to make a building. We can also bring in some good looking distant night city photos from textures.com. This means we can extend the horizon a bit and make things look cleaner. We'll also add a cube of subtle volumetric fog. Let's set up a night sky quickly. We'll just cut a sphere in half and drive a scaled noise texture through a controlled color ramp and connect to a mission and now we have beautiful stars. To make things more advanced, we can also create the horizon's atmosphere using a foggy color that's positioned by gradients and mapping to create a band of white against black that can drive the mix shader. Slap on an emissive moon texture and boom, night sky. Now all there's left to do is to just plan out our animation sequences. This means creating and putting a camera where we want it. Position our animated Spidey, animate the camera moving and use Ian Hubert's free camera add-on to add a realistic camera shake. Since everything is dark, you might need to add some point lights or rim lights to highlight our character a bit. I used cool and warm lights, as well as moonlight, lots of lights. Now of course you can get even more advanced, you might want to combine certain animations, or get into the swinging action, and there's tons of good tutorials out there. I just hope to give you a bit of a head start to show that it is possible to make really cool animations with entirely free stuff and small effort. Obviously the more love and effort you give things, the better. Anyways, as promised, here's what I came up with for my final animation. Do consider liking the video and subscribing for more content, it helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.